Thank you so much. Um, uh, we welcome all of you uh, to the offices of the African Diaspora Forum. Uh, we are in the middle of a disaster where we've lost 77 people in that fire disaster, as it has been widely reported. Uh, the African Diaspora Forum has taken the initiative to welcome members of TEDS uh, who are working in assisting the victims of the fire. What the ADF has done is to provide office space uh, because uh, many people were asking to say what is the role of the African Diaspora Forum in all uh, uh, it is in terms of assisting the victims of this disaster. Uh, ours is to provide office space and uh, we call on all members of the African Diaspora Forum to assist the work person. Members of CATS are going to indicate the assistance that they are doing and the kind of request that they need. But as the African Diaspora Forum, because we are a migrant organization uh, with uh, about 34 countries, we also work with the progressive South Africans. So in this disaster, we know that uh, migrants and South Africans were victims. We do not differentiate in terms of nationality as the African Diaspora Forum because we seek to build this African unity uh, in South Africa and across the continent. So we welcome members of CATS. They will be operating from here, the start meeting, uh, <coughs> number 47, Sour Street, just the opposite to Tule House. So we hand over to members of CATS and we are happy to have you here uh, to work from here. Please feel free to operate from to use this space. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Annie. Um, I want, I'm one of the coordinators of CACS and um, we just want to say thank you for all the organizations who came on board and I just have a list of um, essentials that the, the fire victims will be in, is basically in need of and we are looking at a very very long list over here. We are actually in need of bedding, mattresses, blankets, pillows, device, etc. clothes for babies, school, school children, toddlers and adults, no undergarments must be new, school supplies, stationary school shoes, school bags, jerseys, raincoat, etc. Baby supplies, baby formula, utensils, bowls, nappies, soft porridge, baby vest, baby, baby baths, um, cooking equipment, two plate stoves, cooking pots, pans, utensils, toiletries, lotion, Vaseline, Toothpaste, toothbrushes, sanitary pads, towels, face cloths, cleaning supplies, brooms, mops, dust, dustpans, brushes, washing powder, dishwashing liquid, children's toys suitable for various ages, including baby toys, extras, caps, hats, socks. Drop off point will be African Diaspora for the offices. Address will be 47 Sour Street, mezzanine level, sparked by Star Newspaper Building opposite the Tully House. The contact persons should be Dorothy and the IDF officers. Your support would mean a lot to the affected families. Please spread the word, thanking you in advance. Gex. Um, okay, on behalf of African Diaspora Forum, we have 11 commissions that we try to accomplish as we fighting the issue that affects migrants. So one of our um, commission is emergency relief. I'm just going to read it. It's about to diverse and implement a program which will provide emergency relief to migrants in distress in the form of food, legal, medical, and other support. As part of our advice office service, we need to have the capacity to accept please from help in terms of above and also have staff trained to assess the needs of people who come for advice and also need other help. So we'll be on the ground with Kopana and assisting them with whatever that they need. So for now we're just accommodating them in our offices. Thank you. Hi, uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, my, my name is Jay Kaliti. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I actually was kind of the co-founder also of Open Up and I'm on the CC program at all. But I want to really say from the bottom of my heart that all the people that came out there, and whether it was in a small way or in a big way, we all united. That was everybody united. 
it was South Africans and, and everyone. I, we, were, we were all in, in solidarity. And for me, that touched me so much. And, and, and it just people just kept on coming and asking, what can I do, what can I do? And really, this has been such a, it's been such a change that we are humanity at last. And thank you very much. And we'd like to see more and more people coming on board and helping us out. But it has been totally a success where people have really, really helped us. And, and especially for the victims, what they're going through at the moment, it's very sad. I don't even know how to explain. We need a lot of counseling. They still got so much of hope, regardless of what they've been through, but only in the hope of making their lives more easier. That everything, whatever we can get towards them, will be so much appreciated. Thank you so much.